Hey folks, it's Eva at Jolly Harbor Soap Market, and I'm sharing with you an unboxing of my very first order of a new essential oil supplier um, that I'm trying, and it is from Lakshmi International LLC um, in Chandler, Arizona. So I'm trying to hope you can see it. Can't tell. The light shining through it. So, Sid there, it's a company that you can go onto their website um, and you just go to eoils.com. eoils.com. So, it's super simple to go to their website. They have um, not only essential oils, but also other fragrance notes, as well as resins and other products, other scent products. They're very specialized with anything with scents, basically, natural and otherwise. At this point, he did not have any organic essential oils, but he had such good prices. And while I am switching to organic, I can't afford to do everything organic yet. But I ordered two different types of cedar wood, as well as the lavender 4042, peppermint oil, um, the USA derived, so this one is Yakima, Washington, and then 10 time folded orange oil decolorized so I won't have to worry about it having any color in my products so again it's my very first order from them so I thought I'd share with you um, what it is so you can see I literally have not unpacked anything so it comes with actually the biodegradable these are the ones that will degrade in water so I'll get these I'll put away and then I'll bring it back alright so I took the first layer of the peanuts off and thought I'd show you. He has the bottles packed in there with the peanuts stuffed down around them. So you have an idea of how he packed this shipment. All right, I'll get them out and show you. So here's the first one. Peppermint Yakima oil. And it does have the lot number. Everything seems to be well documented with this company. So that's great. And I got that. Now the U.S. based peppermint oil was more expensive than like other sources out of the United States peppermint oil. So that 16 ounces of the Yakima peppermint. Um, this one doesn't have the prices on it. But it ran me about $40 if I remember right. Alright. Then I got Cedarwood Atlas. I'm excited about that. I'm not. I don't need to open them yet. I will soon, but I'll let you know as I use them. Lavender, 4042 oil, and basically he prices things. I think he bottles as he orders, as you send your order in. Cedarwood, Virginiana. One thing when you call there. You can't just order online. You have to call. Um, that would be the best way I would recommend in my experience so far, getting a hold of them. But you actually get to talk with the owner, um, and he will answer any questions that you have. Like I asked the question about this being decolorized. How is that different? How's the process different um, than like regular tinfold, or how's the scent, scent profile different? That's what I specifically ask because I use it for the scent. Um, I like it in my patchouli orange, geez, the folded orange. And he said the scent profile is the same. The only difference is the color is removed. All right. Now, I'm just feeling in the bottom. He had said he would include some samples. And they are not in this package. I had asked about samples of lemongrass and rosemary. So those are some I use a lot of, but there are no more samples in there. So I'll ask them about that because I did want to know what they were like. I was going to be willing to pay for them, but he told me he'd include them at no extra charge, but they're not in there. So anyway, if y'all are trying to save money, I definitely recommend them. The packaging was quick. The communication was good. I do recommend calling. Um, 
and then they'll quote you a price over the phone be ready to write them down because then he will ask you to email your order to him with the prices he quoted so just a just an observation that may help you out when you try them out all right y'all have a great day bye Hey everybody, it's Eva from Jolly Harbor Soap Market. I am just doing an add-on. It's been a month and a half, a couple months ago, I received my first order from this company, Lakshmi, and the owner's name is Sid. And so I had ordered essential oils from them for the first time. I had found them through a mention from Joanna the Soap Gal. And so that's how I found them. But, and so I thought I'd try them out. Um, I learned that you do need to call them if you want to get prices. They're not like most websites where you can go and you can see the prices. You can see what they have. And I would recommend make a list before you call of what you're interested in. And when you talk to them, they will give you a price and for what you're wanting. Their minimum order is for $100. Uh, from them that's what they ask and I, it, you can mix and match it to make the hundred dollars the larger the percentage or the larger this quantity you're getting of any oil you're going to get a, a better discount but I thought their prices were very competitive compared to other places I've been trying these for the last couple months and I really like everything I've tried it's just as good as bulk apothecary or um, what's the other one I tried recently the Canadian one. Now I can't think of it. It'll come to me later. But, so the ones I've been trying are the Cedarwood Virginia, Virginiana, which I really like it. It's good. That's the one I use a higher percentage of. But I also got the Cedarwood Atlas, which their price for the Cedarwood Atlas beat other places in my experience so far. So it was very good. Then I tried, for the lavender, I chose to try their lavender 40, 42 the first time. And this smells awesome. It smells really good. It smells uh, just as good as anywhere else. And the price was was better than Bulk Apothecary. Um, and the other one I got to try was the orange oil tenfold, which I use this in my patchouli soaps. Uh, it just holds up better. If you soak with citrus, you know it doesn't hold up well. So I use folded oils. And this time I heat, Sid recommended trying the decolorized. If I was concerned, he said the otherwise, the percent profile, everything else about the oil is um, comparable. So I thought I would try it this time for the decolorized. Because the folded orange oil can be quite um, a strong color. And it can mess up your pattern or your your plans for how your soap looks if you're not wanting orange in it. The peppermint, I chose to try the peppermint Yakima. I wanted to support an American company and this is made, sourced in Washington, Yakima, Washington, and I love how this smells. This was a little more expensive than the typical peppermint distilled, but the price for this was still better than what I pay for the regular peppermint other places so I chose to try this and I really like it it's a wonderful full-bodied peppermint um, that you would like and in my first segment I had said that I did not receive my samples so I called him the next day and I just asked and I offered to I had offered to purchase them in the first place and he said no he'd send free samples because um, I had a pretty good size order and I had chosen patchouli and this is a wonderful dark patchouli it smells really good and you can see how dark it is the color of it but it smells wonderful this is just as good as the dark patchouli that I've gotten from bulk apothecary so I will be getting theirs next time trying it and then the rosemary oil the last rosemary that I ordered from that Canadian company um, was organic and it's a good rosemary oil but I kind of don't like it has a musty musty tone I don't like so this rosemary smells more like what I'm used to the Spanish rosemary and it's a good strong rosemary so I look forward to getting more of that and this lemongrass 
this is a little good is gonna go a long ways to this this is a really good strong smelling oil um, better to me in my opinion than crafters choice and just as good if not a little better than the bulk apothecary and this I thought was a generous sample this is vetiver Haitian vetiver and if you've ever priced vetiver oil vetiver root oil you know it is not cheap and look at this I don't know if you can see the size of sample this is this is a good 5 ml if not almost 10 when I first got it I've used a little and I bought a similar size of this from Bulk Apothecary and it cost me almost $30 it was maybe half again as much so that was a generous sample um, so I'm grateful to sit there at Lakshmi and I definitely recommend them everything was packaged good the shipping was reasonable price as well as the time it got took to get to me it took about a week and a half but um, I think it was a Friday when I ordered it so there was the weekend and I think there was a holiday involved so all told it was pretty good they did go ahead and send the samples when I called them they didn't charge me anything they didn't charge me shipping so solid company I recommend them go ahead and look them up you can just look up Lakshmi let's see I don't the email is not on here oh their email um, is info at eoils.com if you want to email them an order which you will need to email them once they tell you the prices or the website is www.eoils.com so look them up thought I'd catch up on my experience with their company so far y'all have a great day bye